Bag fuel, baby. As a journalist, do you, are are you in the same realm as Elliot Wilson and being frustrated at the quality of perceived Great journalism, question. or do you feel like Great it's question. it's it's transitioning the right way and we got to give question. it time? Because um, you are a writer, not was. Are. I am. I am. I am a writer. You wrote. I've always. Right? I've always been a storyteller. You so still write? Yes. Okay. It, no mm, matter. Yeah. Mm. I don't write articles and. Uh, music reviews and things like that mm -hmm. because, to be honest, it stopped being lucrative, right? And when I transitioned out of the space, just to think of what, what type of money we made back yeah. then and what... It's what the same thing he my, says. Now, yeah. it's a different... It, it wouldn't be, it's, not time, it's not worth my time, though. It's not worth my time. I don't want to stop you, but the fun was but, 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 so but It was a lot. Of, it was a lot different, so different, right? But, huh? you know, mm. journalism has changed, right? So when you say, am I in the same space as Elliot... I don't want to I mean, say how he yes. feels about journalism. I got to look at everything Elliot has said. I, I, I might have missed some stuff, but like, I don't just want to say yes, right? Because mm -hmm. I know Elliot. Elliot was a, was a part of the reason why I started writing, right? Mm. Like he was someone who helped my career very early on. And Carlito, you know, I don't want to ever forget about Carlito and Riggs and like that team that we had back then he was as the journalists. Uh, Ellie Wilson was at the source? Uh, uh, Ellie Wilson was at the source too? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I didn't you know didn't that. know that? <laughs> Before, see, coming from the creative side, we didn't give a fuck about who. So was here, writing. here's the thing. So Elliot, when he left, you know, a lot of people back then, like before me, when they left the source, it was never on good terms, right? It was always like standing up for something or standing mm. against something, right? Um, and that had a lot to do with Benzino. But so Elliot, when he left, he went to XXL. Before I got to the source, Elliot hired me. I was one of four people that worked mm. for Elliot, mm. that worked with Elliot in his first run at XXL. Mm. I just left after a month because then Carlito came and offered me a job at the source and I wanted to be at the source. Mm. So like that was a big piece of like my come up, right? And it was, and then he kind of, him and, and I were at the editor in chief positions of both of those magazines at the same time when both of those magazines were at his he height. He was editor at Chief's Source and he was editor at Chief's at XXL. At, double XXL. at his height. Ooh, okay. That's, like, a, that's a beautiful rivalry. I don't think that either of those magazines have reached the heights In that, that time when y'all was working with them. They yeah. were not, they not selling a... They, go ahead, go ahead, cause, just go cause, ahead. Because <laughs> if we really start talking about it, people feel it's going to get hurt. Mm. They're not selling <laughs> what they were selling when we were at the helm of that magazine, right? Mm. And we did have um, the journalism thing embedded in us, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we also came from within the culture. So it was journalism, but there was also a piece of responsibility of representing the culture and making sure that we did that properly, gotcha. right? And that we were like, you know... It was like a for us, by us type of shit. It ain't like that no Fubu. more. Because you could look at people who are in certain positions and be like, y'all really? Okay. So <laughs> I think that I do share certain sentiments that he has. Mm. But I also embrace, I didn't stay in the game. So maybe if I stayed in the game, I can't, I can't see myself like, you know, right now, like, hey, y'all. You know, this is the next hot shit. It's just not where I am in mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. I have, and, and a lot of us, right? Like a lot of us transition to TV. You know, look at Riggs. He's at the helm of of A and R at, at Def Jam. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. right now. So Carlito's writing for you know scripted series, and you know Selwyn. Like all of us who kind of came up during that time, Chael. Like we are in different spaces. We kind of grew out of the hip hop journalist mm. space. Aaliyah mm -hmm. King. Right, she's you know an editor, um, in book publishing. So like, we are not thinking the same way he's thinking because we're not in it. He's still mm. in it. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still in it. He's still like, and Boots that's to the what. Ground. Yeah, you know. And look, and to his credit, right, that's why he's earned that title of when you know Elliot kind of goes out there as like the goat of hip hop journalism, right? Mm -hmm. He's done his thing, but. I couldn't see myself at this age with grown up kids with the with the, the hip hop mm. space is so young mm -hmm. and Correct. it's a different space. Now, maybe on some legacy shit, you know, cause I'll write about a LL Cool J or I'll write about, you know, the stuff that I, Big Daddy Kane and the shit that I love, but I can't, 
what what can I really tell you, you know, about an ice spice? Well, four one. That's not for me, mm-hmm. right? Like, so mm. I can't be in the space, and I can't tell these kids how they're gonna receive mm. the content or how they want to receive the content. So in that respect, I'm a little. I can get on a soapbox with this shit all day. I, I'm, I'm a little mm. bit different, right? Because journalism is different. It's a different. It's a different art form. It's not the, the hip hop of our day. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna sit up here. Am I gonna really want to dissect, you know, Lotto versus Ice Spice right now? The same. I'm not doing that. Cause, cause why would I do that? I remember when we were writing at the source. You know, a lot of the older journalists were kind of in that same space, but there were those who were moving on. They mm. were doing tech, like you. You know, I was looking up to like a Nelson George, right? And what he mm. was doing. And look at what Nelson does now. Mm-hmm. Like, that's where I'm like. He's different. He that's is. where I'm going. Out of here, yeah. 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 Like Nelson he George. He graduated. He graduated. Is, was a hip hop journalist. Yes, yes, he was. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Can you imagine if Nelson was online like, yeah, y'all motherfuckers, you know. So can I ask you a real question <laughs> like, without, it, without it being controversial? Sure. And you cannot answer it. Do you think Mr. Wilson should move on? He has to, dis- I think he has moved on. I think he's done different things in this lane. But, um, you know, he got to decide what's right for him is not right for me. This is just my experience okay. and where mm-hmm. I am and what I look up to. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, what I love to do is identify the new and up and coming journalists of today and be like, this is that person y'all need to listen to in that space. Mm-hmm. I see they know what they're doing. The people you but I'm not jumping in that for? space. Is that the people that you choose to get the TV deals for? You don't fuck with us like <laughs> Sometimes. that. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I just. I'm just fucking with you. I'm having nah, tequila. Listen. I'm just having fun. I'm not serious. I'm not a, serious, everybody. 